Hey guys, my name is Daniel Mudeki and I'd like to thank you all so much for joining me today. Most importantly, I'd like us all to thank God because he is the one who's given us the grace and the ability to see a day such as this. There are many out there who would love to have your situation, love to be where you are today, but they don't have that chance. And so always be quick to give thanks to God because it is only him and by his grace that we are here today. You know, there are many going through a tough time this season. Things have not been easy. And I believe and trust that nothing lasts forever. Every season that has a beginning has an end. And truly, an end to your difficult season will come. All you have to do is keep the faith, keep the hope, don't give up, keep pushing. If you fail, don't give up. What matters most is how you rise yourself up and continue focusing on that which you want to achieve. So never give up and don't lose hope because a brighter day is on the horizon. Well guys, as usual, I leave my social media details and email on the screen right there. And so if you need to reach out to me, you know, drop me a chat on my social media pages, drop me an email and I'll do my very best to try and revert to each and every one of you by the grace of God. Could be a topic suggestion you have for this channel, could be a question, could be a concern, could be anything that you'd like to discuss. Feel free, chat me up and I'll get back to you. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, don't forget notification bell as well as the subscribe button so that you never miss out on any videos that we post, which by the grace of God is normally each and every Sunday. Well guys, as we always say, new week, new video. And in today's video, I'd like to talk about um, a conversation I was having with my dad the other day. And we were talking about fear. And we realized that fear is a crippling thing that has destroyed a lot of lives. It's destroyed dreams. Fear has broken people's plans and that which they've hoped to achieve. And when you sit down and realize, the scriptures talk about it. You know, the principle is that fear will limit and block you from doing that which you want to achieve. You know, there's a man who said, fear has killed more dreams than failure will ever do. You know, you fear to even start. You fear to engage in something because of the outcome. And you have limited yourself to where you are today. You know, I was a victim of this. Fear would cripple me. Fear would stop me from doing that which I wanted to do. For the longest time, I believed in my heart that I had a message to give people. I had a story to tell. But fear crippled me and stopped me from even starting a YouTube channel. Fear stopped me from doing that which my heart wants to do. But the day I understood this, I realized that fear is not of God. Fear will cripple you and fear will take away that which God has already gifted you. And today I have a perfect example. And I'd like us to read together. I have my trusted Bible here. So I'd like us to roll together to Matthew, the book of Matthew, chapter 14, from verses 29. Let's start from 28, okay? Lord, is it you? Peter replied. Tell me to come to you on the water. Come, Jesus said. Then Peter got down out of the boat, walked on water, and came towards Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid and began to sink, cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. You of little faith, he said, why did you doubt? You know, this is when Jesus approached his disciples walking on water. And when they saw him, they were frightened and scared because they thought it's a ghost. They didn't know what it was. 
And so Peter was a bit bold. And so Peter screamed out to Jesus and said, If that is you, ask me to walk on water. Ask me to come out and join you in the water. You know, there he showed a bit of courage, a bit of confidence. And so Jesus told him, yeah, sure thing, come on. And Peter got out and began to walk on water. You know, I'd like to pause there for now. You know, a lot of us have been Peter in our lives. We've woken up in the morning with all the confidence in the world and decided that today I will do A, B, or C. That today I will get rid of this habit that has been destroying my life. Today I will finally speak up. Today I will finally defend the helpless. Today I will finally do that thing, that which my heart wants to do. And that was Peter. You know, he said, you know what? If you call me to the water, I'm coming out. And Jesus called him. And truly, Peter began walking on water. You know, this was a miracle by itself. You know, his belief allowed him to do this. And that's the same thing in our lives, my friends. We start things we believe in. And the things start taking off. But as Peter was walking on water, he saw the winds. You know, the winds were blowing. And so Peter quickly went back into his subconscious mind and developed fear. Peter was afraid of the winds and he began to sink. You see, a lot of us have failed in our endeavors, in our plans, in our missions, in our God-given purpose because we have allowed ourselves to watch the wind. We have allowed ourselves to fright out of, the, out of the issues of life. And what happens is this. Fear is unspoken doubt. Fear is unspoken doubt. You see, the moment Peter started sinking and screamed to Jesus to come and help him, Jesus told him, you of little faith, why did you doubt? If we go back to the book of James, chapter 1, from verse 6, it says, if you need anything, ask God. If you need wisdom, God will give it to you. But remember, when you ask, you should not doubt. He who doubts is like a wave tossed and turned into the sea. That person has his loyalties divided on God and the world, and they should never expect to receive anything from God. Doubt is one of the most dangerous things you can ever have in life. And today I've told you fear is unspoken doubt. Peter was afraid. He doubted what he was doing. You have allowed fear into your life. You have allowed it to stop you. You've allowed it to keep you in your comfort zone. You've allowed it to scream louder to you that you cannot walk on water. You cannot do this. You cannot do that. This is not your gift. This is not your role. You're not worth it. That voice that speaks in your head, you have allowed it to conquer you. And you have allowed it to take authority in your life. And today you're sinking. You are slowly sinking with nobody to help you. Nobody to get you out of the water. Simply because you have allowed fear to overrun you. And today I am here to tell you that fear is not a spirit of God. Fear is of the evil one. Who came to do three things? He came to kill, steal and destroy. You know, fear kills your confidence. It steals your hope away from you and destroys your faith. That is what fear does. It steals from you and finally destroys you. 
don't allow yourself to get into this mess. You see, I remember a lot of things I wanted to do in the past. But I always talked myself out of it. Because of saying, what if I don't make it? What if I fail? What if it doesn't work? What if I'm ashamed? What if I'm embarrassed? What if I become a laughingstock? What if it doesn't work out? What if, what if, what if? Today I want you to change those what ifs to be what if it works out? What if you become the best? What if you make it? What if you develop the best product out there? Simply because you did not fear the outcome that is negative. I want you to think about the positive. We have limited ourselves, my friends, and our abilities because of this voice that keeps speaking in your head. And you must ask yourself, did this voice come to build you or destroy you? Has it come to make you better or to cripple you? Anytime you're afraid of something, evaluate that feeling and ask yourself, is it here to make you better or destroy you or keep you in that cocoon? keep you in that comfort zone that never makes you grow. You know, a fish only grows as big as a pond. And so if a fish is in the same pond, it will always remain the same size. Are you comfortable in your pond? Has fear kept you from leaping out of that pond and getting into bigger waters and open waters? where your abilities and possibilities are vast beyond measure, where you can achieve things you've never believed and imagined you could. I urge you, my friends, do not fear. Don't allow fear to be part of your vocabulary. God created you for a plan and purpose. He's put you in this world for a reason. You're here to deliver something that only you can deliver. Nobody else can do it. You are the best in that one thing that God has put in your heart today. And I pray that you will not have fear. You'll have hope, courage to unearth it and to follow it so that you can achieve it. And by the end of the day, you will be that person who which God wants you to be. So remember, fear came to destroy, not to build. It came to kill and to steal from you. And so as Peter, who walked on water, drowned, don't allow yourself to keep drowning because of doubt and because of fear. And so guys, I don't want to make this video too long, but I want you to have a week of faith and courage in everything you do. And so take care of yourselves. May God bless you. And remember, subscribe to the channel and don't forget the notification bell so that you're always alerted when we post a new video, which is each and every Sunday, by the grace of God. Take care, God bless, and stay safe.